Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Let's see what's going on for you this week, Cancer. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Cancer, go ahead and click that like button. All right, thank you for doing so. It means a lot. Let's see. Rebirth. All right, so you got judgment here. Uh, all the things from the past coming back up, you know, resurfacing. Maybe even people coming back from the past. We still are in retrograde energy so maybe people are resurfacing and like hey what you doing what you up to could be friends family loved ones lo romantic partners um this is an opportunity for you to relinquish release let go of if it's not serving you let it go yeah maybe even let something new develop for yourself um with the full card go in a different direction you know stop going backwards stop digging in the past like a you know a treasure chest of bullshit like stop going back to it leave that there um jump into the unknown you know jump into something new yeah whoa cut off executive decisions it's like so you need to make some decisions about what you're going to do next like how how is your life going to be structured are these people valuable is this valuable is this adding any type of um substance or uh sustainability in my life like no you know maybe it is maybe it isn't but you got to get real clear about people places things is it really adding to you or is it depleting you okay um let's see for some of you, you may want a second chance or someone wants a second chance with an aquarius we've got aquarius coming up twice well three times the queen of uh swords also um Somebody wants to, you know, reconcile. They want to come back together. They want you to forgive them and make some fast judgment. You know, the universe is saying make fast judgment also about things that don't serve you. You know, so this can be read two different ways. Either you want to come back into someone's life or they're trying to come back into yours. This also could be you needing to get very clear about what your future looks like. And it, it could include shutting people off or shutting them, shutting them out. They just don't serve you. They don't serve the end game or the end goal here. Uh, yeah, nine of clubs. Definitely somebody's hoping, wishing, praying for you. Someone's thinking about the good times, the fun times, the drinks, the laughter, the food, the sex, the everything. Um, the queen of swords again. Yeah, somebody cut somebody off here. Okay. And somebody's like, I can't, t I can't deal with it. I can't tolerate it. I won't tolerate it. I need it back. I'm hoping and wishing and praying for it. I'm putting out those fillers so that this person can feel me. I can't make it up. Star card came out. So it's like somebody wants a reconciliation with definitely an Aquarius or maybe even a Leo or someone has Leo in their chart. Um, somebody is, is uh, really, really, really stuck focusing, thinking about this person over and over again, waiting for either the other person to reach out or for you to reach out. Um, Somebody could just want to get you got Aries showing up also, Scorpio. Um, somebody needs to go through a deep transformation. Somebody feels like, okay, this is just a period of us not talking, but we're gonna get back together. It that could very well be, but are you gonna stay together? Somebody needs to go through transformation, healing of self first, and then realignment. Because there's like you have to ask yourself, is being with this person good or bad karma? Because karma could come either way, good or bad. And it looks like for some of you, somebody needs to learn. Yeah. Um, somebody's praying to God for another chance. Let's see. What is this about? What's the future energy for cancer? Future energy for cancer. Future energy for cancer. Ooh, some man is in their thoughts about this um, this woman. You know, he, he can't get her off his mind. Wondering what she's up to, what she's doing, who she's doing it with, where is she, what is she wearing, what does she eat? Yes, because somebody is in a place of poverty, a poverty mindset. You know, they've given up agency about what they can do with this relationship or what they can do in this relationship to get this person back. It could be a masculine energy. Somebody's just stuck here, you know, stuck thinking negative the negative swirling thoughts um somebody feels like somebody was good to them they treated a, a good person bad or poorly um someone feels like you know this is me 
you know, being good natured and this is when I get, you know, I get stuck or I get, um, you know, trapped in thought. Let's see. Definitely about a masculine energy. It could be even same sex here for some of you. Um, somebody's got somebody in, in really high regard, high honor, or they, they recognize the significance of the relationship. But there is a pause here, maybe because someone kept someone in a, a place of hanging around or they kept them, they were dangling a carrot. They never really gave the relationship a title or status. Now, without all the distractions around or without this person or without all of the the energy someone is seeing the truth of the matter seeing that somebody is the one yeah somebody definitely wants a new start it might be without progression though that's why the universe is kind of holding this back it's like somebody needs to fix themselves and then come back learn lesson and then come back learn how to be different and then go backwards you know but uh, until then, you know, it's it's a no. Um, it looks like it, it's not happening or someone's not coming towards you or you're not coming towards them. Could be dealing with a Gemini. All this could be going on or in the month of June uh, where someone is just like really longing for in a very nostalgic state about you, Cancer, or you are in this nostalgic state about them. Somebody is dealing with the fact that they took something for granted. They can't even cope. They're dealing with all the emotions and the thoughts of how this person may find someone else or they're getting away or they will get away again someone's waiting for communication but it says they need to take the lead either you or the other person but somebody's standing still wanting to offer but not offering wanting reconciliation now you know wanting a one-on-one -on -one relationship uh, but they feel like the power dynamic is off someone feels like they need more money also or they're in need someone's going to read them coming back to them as, oh, you need me, or you, you need money, or you need resources, or you need a place to stay, or you need help, you know, or someone's going to feel like they are powerless if they give in to this person by reaching out to them first. This is ego, egomaniac is what I heard. It's like somebody needs to get over the pride. If you love, if you care for, it doesn't matter. Love transcends all. Also, a very emotionally mature person understands emotions um, and the giving and the sharing of emotions okay today I can tell you that I love you but if today I tell you I love you and you slap me in the face and you treat me like you know what I am so emotionally mature I will take my love and go elsewhere I will take it back see someone who is afraid to share love and devotion is someone who can't control their emotions if they give they'll continue giving to something that is toxic unstable unhealthy and something that will have them entrapped so it's like someone someone controls themselves by giving nothing because if they give and it, and it turns bad, they don't have a hard time just turning it off. But someone who is emotionally mature, really emotionally mature, they don't have a problem with sharing, with caring, with giving. Because if it's not reciprocated in the same manner, they, they have no problem, you know, turning away from. So this is why somebody who doesn't really show their emotions, doesn't want to show, or they're in a place of pride, ego, it's because they're going to have a hard time shutting it off. And a lot of times that's with men. You know, men have a hard time walking away. That's why they say women are better gamblers. We know how to walk away from the table. We know how to walk away. We may know how to walk away a little too well. Um, but anyhow, you know, there could be a masculine energy who's just not comfortable with sharing because they don't know how to turn it off if they do turn it on. Anyhow, this is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope that you have a really good week. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book a reading there. If you're in a place of needing healing, protection, buy the amethyst or the black tourmaline bracelets. If you buy any bracelet, you also get the bracelet and you get to get one question answered via the tarot with me. All right. Thank you, Cancer. Have a really good week. Take care.